All right, in this video, we're going to talk about positivism versus the natural law. So just to give you a quick overview, positivism is the idea that the law is whatever is decreed and enforced by some sort of authority. And this school of thought includes both the positivists and the realists. The naturalist school of thought is that all laws need to conform to a universal moral order, and governments have a duty to conform to this natural law. So going into it a little bit deeper, legal positivism is the idea that the law is whatever an authority says and enforces. So the school, two schools of thought in positivism are the positivists, who say that the law is whatever is on the books. So for example, if the speed limit says 55 miles an hour, that's the law. The realist school of thought is that the law is whatever is actually enforced. So if the posted speed limit is 55 miles per hour, but really you're not going to get pulled over unless you're going over 60, then a realist would say that the speed limit is 60, not 55. Now, one big problem with the positivism school of legal thought is that unrestrained authorities can commit major atrocities. So think of Hitler. Hitler was the authority, and so the you know you think of the the genocide of the Jews under Hitler's reign. Technically, it was legal because he was the legal authority, but most people would agree that that was a pretty terrible thing that happened. The natural law school of thought is that those who believe in natural law believe that laws should conform to a universal moral code. Now, the Declaration of Independence is based on the natural law school of thought. And it, in fact, it says that when governments violate the natural law, citizens have a duty to replace the government. And that's the whole idea around the Declaration of Independence. King George, you're violating the natural law, so as citizens we have a duty to form our own government that does conform to the natural law. Now the problem with the natural law school of thought is who decides what is included in the moral code? You know, it's not always universal. So to sum things up, there are a lot of different schools of legal thought, but the two major ones are positivism, and the naturalists.